Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Last time we took on the Violet City Pokemon Gym and defeated Faulkner. And in the process, we uh well not in the process, afterwards, we were given back the mystery egg. Oh, it's already it's already gonna hatch soon. Wow. Okay, and I'll, also I forgot to deposit Wooper. I should probably go and do that eventually. I'll, I'll do that later. Thank you very much, Wild Encounter, for interrupting my train of thought. Not that it's very hard to do that, but still. Uh, anyways, we, uh... Last time we already took the, uh... The path on the right... Of... The, ah, la, la, la. The, the path on the right of this route, and uh, this time we're gonna take the left path. But first, we're gonna fight Camper Roland. Ah, yes, you're the... I see you're the counterpart to Picnicker Liz. I should really get Geraldine out of the front. Not that she doesn't deserve to be there, but Shade... Shade needs some love, too. Although, I guess he did do pretty much the entirety of the Violet City Gym, so... Whatevs. Excuse me, please do not leer at me. I do not appreciate the way you are looking at me, Mr. Nido Ran. Ooh, poison powder. I... I guess I'll take it. It's better than growl. Poison powder isn't exactly accurate, but, uh... I mean, the chance to poison isn't... Too bad, and by the chance I mean guaranteed if it hits. But anyways, let's move on down to another encounter. Ooh boy, a great ball! I am absolutely gonna be selling that because I'm crazy and only ever use pokeballs. So, moving on, now that the paths have converged once again, we can fight this guy. Okay, he talks about finding some good Pokémon in the grass, and they'll do it for him, yet he has one singular Wooper. I do not understand, Mr. Man. Whatever, you're you're gonna get eaten. I know you've got the the poisonous slime or whatever coating your body, but uh, jokes on you. I'm a poison type, and am therefore immune to such things. Ha ha! And what's this guy got to say? No, no thanks. I'm I'm okay. I am definitely okay. Yeah, <laughs> you thought wrong, my friend. Actually, I'm not sure I'd call you my friend. But, uh, anyways, time for Pokemon Center, just kind of here in the middle of the route, for some reason. So yeah, might as well make use of that, and deposit Wooper while we're here. Alright, so, now that we've deposited our Wooper, if we go and talk to this gentleman here... I guess so? <laughs> now I'm an angler, just because I have a really old fishing rod. Hooray. Yeah, you, you, you might want to think about your word choice there, buddy. But, uh... Our old rod is our first key item, and therefore I see no reason not to, uh, register it to the select button. Uh, that is a new thing introduced in the... in Gold and Silver, is the ability to register key items to the select button, so that you can, uh, more easily access them. So, uh, now we can fish for stuff. Guess what that means? It's montage time! 
Alright, so starting off way back in New Barktown, there are a total of four, or technically five, things uh, that can be found via the old rod, two of which are found here. Uh, there are usually two things, uh, or two different things that can be found in any given area using the old rod. And, uh, one of them... One of them is always Magikarp. Always! Like, there is- there are no routes in which Magikarp is not available using the old rod, I don't think, at least. But yeah, you'll, uh, you'll get sick of Magikarp very quickly if you're trying to find all of the- all of the fishing things. Thank you, Shade! Great job! So, let's try again! Oh my god, it's another Magikarp. I never would have seen that coming. So, Magikarp is completely useless. The only two moves it will ever learn are Splash and Tackle at level 15, and it doesn't have much of an attack stat, so don't really, don't really, don't, just don't try and use Tackle. It's a terrible idea. Would not recommend. But, if you have the patience to raise it up to the relatively low level of 20, it uh, becomes an absolute terror, but we'll get to that later. Magikarp, the fish Pokémon. For no reason, it jumps and splashes about, making it easier, easy for predators like Pidgeotto to catch it mid-jump. No! Alright, time to try for the other thing here. You guessed it, it's Magikarp again! No, not actually. Here we go, it's Tentacool! There's absolutely no reason for me to catch Tentacool right now, as it'll they'll be appearing in droves later in the game. But... I, I don't know, I just feel like catching everything I can as early as possible, so... Might as well catch this now. Om nom. And this may go on for a while. Unless I keep getting lucky with breaking through confusion, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that was kind of bound to happen eventually. Come on, Shade, just one more bite. JUST A BITE! Yeah, I know. Fish are friends, not food, and I suppose that extends to jellyfish also. But come on. Like, really. Like, you, you can't fault me for trying to eat things, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that, but we've, we've caught ourselves a tentacool. Hooray. Tentacool, the jellyfish Pokémon. It drifts aimlessly in waves. Very difficult to see in water, it may not be noticed until it stings. Yeah, sure. Very difficult to see. Because you definitely won't see a frickin' billion of them later on. Anyways, on to the next body of water! We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin. The egg is hatching. It's Togepi! It's super cute, and I'm gonna be using it. Because... yes. And yes, it is going to be terrible to raise because it's level 5 and doesn't really get moves for a while. But I don't care, it's gonna be great. Well, maybe not great. It's gonna be good eventually. Uh, and also I haven't thought of a name for this thing yet, so give me a second!
Well, I took to Discord, and uh, I told myself I would go with the first suggestion I got. So, with that in mind... No? We're going with Omelette. Thanks, John. D yes, Ralph? I is there Quillfish? No. No, there's not. Lame. Fine. Alright. Time to go and... do things. And by do things, I mean catch a singular Pokémon here. Crabby! Uh, Crabby... is a crab. It's... Hmm. I don't, I'm not really sure how to feel about Crabby. At least, to start with. Like, it's got a massive attack stat, but it doesn't really have the moves to use said attack stat. Because... Once again, it's a water type, and physical water type moves don't exist yet because it's because they were silly. I'm very glad they changed that later on. Crabby, the river crab Pokemon. The pincers break off easily. If it loses a pincer, it somehow becomes incapable of walking sideways. I guess that kind of makes sense. It's because its balance is thrown off. Um, on to the next thing. Oh, you piece of crap. I cannot deposit my Pokémon because I need to change PC boxes. Because for some reason, they kept the terrible PC box system from Red and Blue, which means you have to manually change the PC box which, for some reason, forces you to save when you do so. And, uh... Yeah, if your party is full, and your PC box- your current PC box is full, then you cannot catch any more Pokémon until you change your PC boxes. So, uh, if you run into a super rare thing, and, uh, your- both of those things are full, then, uh... Yeah, you're kind of SOL. I'm very glad they changed that as well. On to Route 30, which I somehow completely forgot had water, but uh, it turns out it also has the uh, the last thing that is readily available to us. And that Pokémon is Poliwag, after 15 minutes of fishing in the exact same spot. Mah! Please don't die to a single bite. Thank you. Please don't die to a second bite. Okay, cool. Speed tie. I, I can get down with that. Uh, Poliwag is... interesting. Uh, it's... I think the first Pokémon available to us that can actually evolve in two different ways... Uh, oh, fuck you! <laughs> no! Uh, it can evolve into either Poliwrath, which is, uh... a physical attacker that's part fighting type, or Politoed, which... is, uh... <laughs> It's definitely the less good of the two. It's more special based and learns a lot of a lot of support moves, but it can use decent uh, water type moves if you want it to. Yeah, they're they're both pretty good. I have a soft spot in my heart for Politoed personally, but I don't know. Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon. The direction of its belly spiral differs by area. The equator is thought to have an effect on this. I do not want to nickname Poliwag. What I do want to do is buy more Pokeballs, because I'm now out of those. And we have returned to Route 32. Uh, technically, Quillfish is quote-unquote available on this route, 
but if you use, if you only have the old rod, it is only available during a swarm, which is why I uh, felt it was so important to get Fisherman Ralph's phone number. So, uh, before we do anything else, we are going to switch Omelette to the front, and uh, let's let's take a look at its its stats, her stats, I guess. Yeah, she's she's got Growl and Charm, which is incredibly redundant because Growl lowers attack by one stage and Charm lowers attack by two stages. Why Togepi needs both, I don't know. Why they are the first two moves that Togepi learns, I don't know. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, uh, Togepi is at least usable because it gets a uh, it gets uh, extra sensory, which is a pr a really good psychic type move for this early in the game. It's got 80 power and a chance of flinching. But uh, yeah, that's that's. I don't think that's a thing at all in this game. And, uh... Yeah, Togepi is mostly, uh, specially defensive. That, that'll that become more pronounced as it levels up, obviously, but, uh... Yeah, well, let's, uh... Let's just move onwards! Actually make progress. Yes, we beat Faulkner! Because, you know, we're, we're good trainers. We are good enough trainers to have exactly one gym badge. So, um... Yeah, there's... There's gonna be a whole lot of Switch training being done for Omelette. My apologies if that gets annoying, but, uh... Just know that it is far more annoying for me than it will be for you. Probably. I, I, I don't know how you feel about that. But, uh, yeah. Just gonna, you know, bite some birds. Like we do. Be all Ozzy Osbourne like that. Wow, Omelette's already halfway to level 6. So... She will definitely have reached that point by the end of this battle. Hooray. But yeah, um... A good chunk of the uh, aforementioned Switch training will be done uh, during Wild Encounters, so I'll be cutting those out. To spare you some of it, at least. And... Sparrow! Of course, she's, like, one experience point away. Oh, four, excuse me. Yes, I did feel the need to check. What of it? D do not peck my bat! So what if my bat bites your bird? That gives you no right to do anything in retaliation. Or, you know, instigation, because technically, you did it first! Yeah! That's right, I went there. You are the bad guy here, Spiro. Do you now? Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go and gonna go ahead and heal. Togepi, the Spike Ball Pokémon. A proverb claims that happiness will come to anyone who can make a sleeping Togepi stand up. <laughs> 